All right, guys, so let me introduce you to your project. As you can tell, I'm not here, um, and that is okay. You are in capable hands, but let me get everything set up right here. Perfect. Okay, so you guys have done random numbers. We've done um, variables. We've done shapes. We've been working in the game lab a lot, and now you're going to design your own robot face. But first, let's walk through what you're going to do with our activity guide. Okay, so you'll answer this warm-up question on your activity guide, which is right here. You'll do this warm-up question. And then if we look at our overview, right here it says, using shapes, variables, and random numbers, you're going to create a unique robot face. Be as creative as you can. Think about how you can make your robot unique in design from the shape of its head, the number of eyes or mouths, or if it has antennas. Okay, there's no limit, so let's come up with something original and unexpected. Before you jump into programming your robot face on code.org, we need a plan. You can reference your problem solving process if you're a little confused on how to get started, but I think most of you will be okay on that, right? So you'll start with the definition. Here, you're gonna, the define step. You're gonna write out a short description of your robot face, including what sorts of, what sorts of shapes and random features it will include, okay? Here is where you will sketch your robot out. Don't miss this step. It needs to be in color and it should be well thought out. Here is an example of what I'm looking for, right? Notice how it's kind of lined up. You can't steal this idea, but we've got three eyes, some ears, all these shapes here. Um, you could do whatever you want to create it, but notice it is in color and it has your key over here, okay? So don't just throw a random circle on here and move on, right? This is your guide for when you get to code.org. So if you're gonna have a square start here at 100 by 100, draw it like that. So you'll know when you get to code.org what you need to do, okay? Then you're gonna list out the four variables that you're gonna use, okay? And how they're used in your face. So for example, on our exemplar, they wrote the variable name mouth width. This is going to change how wide the mouth is and they're gonna have the random number 75 through 200. They wrote eye color. We'll make the eye color random. Body color, they'll make the body color random, right? That's what I'm looking for. What variables are you going to put? You have to have at least four, okay? If you get done today, all right, show your design to the sub, right? Get approval for it, and then you can move on to code.org to start designing your robot. I think this project will take us two, maybe three days, so let's tentatively plan for this project to be done on Wednesday. If you get done coding, which you won't today, but when you do, you'll come over here and you'll finish up the reflection questions, okay? All of this will be done on paper, so the color pencils are in the back. You'll be able to quickly use them um, to sketch out your robot, but take your time because this is a grade. Good luck.